Well, joining us now is Kunle Daniel. He's an on-air personality. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. yes, so tell us more about this Aria Eco Festival. Uh, I know it's talking about uh, positioning the uh, music of yesteryears to become more relevant at this time. So give us more information on that. Yeah, Aria Eco is uh, basically a musical festival to celebrate our own indigenous music. We have over 20 different indigenous music uh, genres from Ayalai to Afrobeat, Sakara, Wiri, Akwala. And over the years, a lot of these music are nearing extinction, if you pardon my use of language. And uh, every great musical company have found a way to reinvigorate it into today's time. And that's why Aria Eko is here, to celebrate the history, the culture, and nurtured African music, Nigerian music precisely, and to bring it into this developmental stage that takes us into the next level. Uh, mixing a just bit of uh, hip hop, Hmm. Afrobeat. It's just about music of yesteryears blending in today, and that's why there's a potpourri of activities on that. The Avia music. Yeah, tell us about the lineup. Uh, so there's going to be an induction. Yes, Is it a one day program? It's a one day program. So tell us about the lineup then. Okay, uh, so we're performing on that day will be Ebenezer or Bifabi. We would also be inducted into the Evergreen Music Hall of Fame with over 300 songs recorded. It's amazing that this man needs no form of celebration but to be inducted into a musical Hall of Fame. Shino Peters will be, all, be there also uh, 30 years after his eighth album, 1989, and this is 2019. Absolutely. He will be performing. There's the Eco Brass Band, there's Evergreen Musical Bo Company Band, there's uh, Umileon, Dollars Band, Aralola, the drummer, and a few other people will be performing at the, at the West Coast. There's going to be Obesity and uh, Top Sticks, just to blend a bit of the young and the new. Let's not segment it to be an older generation event. We want to take it. Uh, from our indigenous music to blend into the music of tomorrow too. Mm. Mm. Yes, talking about music of tomorrow now, we see that a lot of our younger artists uh, try to take from the music of yesterday and blend it into the sound of today. Now, are we going to see that on display? And what artists are we expecting from the new school to perform at the Aria Eco Festival? Uh, just like I mentioned, I mentioned Dollars Band, Umi Leon, Shola Vibrator, Ara Lola, Ellen Ebay. These people are young at heart and young facially and in age also. But they play music. The idea is people that play music with live band. You can't take away the fact that indigenous music have a lot to do with live band. Lot, so yes. if you can't play with the live band, you don't deserve to be on our festival. That's where we're blending a bit of the people who will be mm. performing, the young people uh, that will be performing on that day. Is this the first, uh, or what series is this? Okay, last year we had something called Faji Agba. Faji Agba is uh, a little bit for the older generation. And this time around, Aria is fun. Eco is Lagos, as you know, and it's a musical festival. So it's uh, a bit of this generation and the older generation is trying to take the music of yesteryears into the music of today. Yeah, but I'm, I, I want to know if it's an annual program. It's good. This is the first edition, this and it's going to first. be annual. Every year, we'll find a theme that suits Aria Eco. Lagos is continuous. Every musical form has a home in Lagos, we must agree. But what's driving, uh, what's, what's driving this uh, passion of um, you know, your, your company now? Is it, an, is it a belief that perhaps the old school love, the old school appreciation is fading and so you want to revive it or is, is there more to it? Uh, don't forget that every country, every culture has a past and music is also a big part of our culture. Uh, that's why in a way uh, to ensure that our music don't die, we're finding a way to blend this music. Afrobeat, I Life, Akpala, Sakara are in extinction, like I mentioned, not total extinction, and we need to find a way to revive it. Because it's our music, we need to inculcate the music of yesteryears. Like you mentioned, uh, there's top six that I did uh, uh, in Masiko. Yeah. There's a, uh, a lot of other people who have done songs of yesteryears yeah. to blend into people's today's time. So we need to find a way to blend it so that our music will not just go into pure extinction. That's why the Evergreen Music Company are trying right. to go out here uh, for everyone to come celebrate Lagos music. All right, well, you mentioned earlier about the fact that if you don't do music with live band that can perform the live band, you don't deserve to be on the, on the area, area echo stage. So it means that you're trying to also use a platform to develop the music arts such that our artists, because we are in, this, in the era of fluty loops and studio recordings. Yeah, studio mixes. Studio mixes. And so, so you're trying to use, are you trying to use this to also uh, send a message to younger generation artists? Listen, at the point in time, some of these guys that are superstars today, the voices might not be there. Yeah. The lyrics might not be that strong. What do you need to pass your message across to the next generation? Your sound. If you play a saxophone, if you play a piano, you can express yourself better. 
in those terms than with your voices. Mm -hmm. Lyrics might become lewd, it might become stale, but with your sound, you can always evolve, and that's why live bands are always very important when it comes to indigenous music. Afrobeat, ons infused, I life ons infused, there's goje, there's the agitable drums, all of these beats, all of this indigenous music and sounds and instrumental sounds must also come back into this music so, so that you find indigenous, a way. Indigenous instruments as well are going to be available. Obviously, there are going to be indigenous music. Adi West will be there to play with his uh, normal, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, the name skips me now. There's also going to be Sonia Adi. There are right. kids, uh, Ebenezer will be Fabi. Sounds like a real star studded uh, mm -hmm. event and so yes, much to look forward to. Because uh, female talking drummer, Ara. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so let's talk about the Aria Eco Festival. Why are you keen into this? I saw you at the press conference when it was unveiled. Yes. Why are you keen into this? Thank you very much. Good morning, Lagosians. Good morning, Nigeria and all over the world watching us. Aria Eco is one of its kind. Mm -hmm. uh, being an indigenous musician, uh, being the first female talking drummer, lead to, um, let me say, the platform to um, showcase what we have as indigenous musicians is rarely there and um, it's it, it, Aria Eko for me and like minds and people in my genre of music is an avenue to showcase what we have to the world on an annual basis. Now the Evergreen Music Company um, is uh, promoting this of course in partnership with Lagos State. It's one thing for Lagosians to be out there to this Sunday to be part of this for me, it's also a great privilege, a huge one, to be on the same stage with the living legends of our time. The people that formed the musical content for nightlife in Lagos. When Lagos uh, nightlife was just coming up, the music that my parents listened to, the, the, the music that our parents listened to growing up enjoying nightlife, you are going to have almost all of them under one roof on Sunday at the Ariye Eco Festival. So it's the preservation of indigenous music. I, I see, but, but then is this, is this new, so to speak? Is this like a new uh, phenomenon? There have been, been programs in the past that, you know, that we see fusion of, of the old uh, and the new, but, but what is particularly striking about this, this one? What is particularly striking about this one is the fact that the kind of music that people yearn for the content, music, evergreen music. Like and the focus is... It's all about, uh, you know, evergreen, old school. Evergreen, old school. Well, I'm not old school, but right. I'm part of it because I do indigenous music. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, I did a collaboration with Two Face, yeah. remixing the evergreen song right. of Baba Ebenezer right. Obe Olomi. Right. Right. So we're going to have a, a lot of the new school as well and the old school that we speak, but the old school formed the foundation, the basis of what we all are riding on today. And they are being neglected. They're not give, being given the, 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 how do I put it? The due. The due, you know, respect and place in society. And people are asking for it. There's no time you listen to Ebenezer Obe that you would not, you know. The feelings that, you know, as young as come back. It comes back. As young as I, I was listening to Ebenezer Obe, if I remember, from board member, even though it, I didn't understand what it was, but I remember um, uh, Olomi, and that was what I actually went back and said, listen, I need to pick from this. So right. what Bimbo Esho of Evergreen Music uh, Company is doing is unique. And like you said, there's been other shows in this light, but never before have they had this number of musical legends under one roof. Okay, never. so in, in this area, Eco Festival now, yes. uh, what category of Nigerians are, are invited? You're talking about evergreen music, the back in the day music. Uh, do we have the younger ones in attendance as well? Definitely, it's for everyone. Everyone. Uh, I will be performing, Boga will be performing, Bita Ojeje will be performing. Boga will be performing. Uh -uh, okay. All the way from Ibadan. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> Boga will be performing. I know, and a whole lot of upcoming and new artists who also would like to do something with the. I mean, you know, um, evergreen catalog. So it's not just for the old people, mm. it's for everybody. If you want to enjoy music, if you want to relieve old memories, Absolutely. and if you want to look into the future and say, okay, can I draw content and strength from this content, then you have to be at the 
City Hall. I'm liking on the Sunday. sound. I'm liking the sound of that already. Yeah. Yes. All right, Ara. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you for having me. All right. Looking at the Aria Eco Festival, uh, as a fan, what do what are we going to expect on that day? What do we expect to see? What are we going to gain from coming to that festival? You're going to gain a whole lot. You're having under one roof music legends, mm -hmm. old and new. Um, you're having the, a one-on-one, -on -one, an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one with the music legends, mm -hmm. to listen to music of yesteryears and you know the music of today, and also a fusion of both. So it's a rare event where I implore everyone around Lagos and its environs to be there to enjoy, you know, this beautiful package. So what's Especially, the fee like? And the fee is very affordable. We have the uh, 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 15,000 tickets. We have the 25,000 VVIP, and then we have the 250,000 uh, for, for a table, a table of, 10. of ten. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. A table of ten. So. Uh, you're a young person, Kuli. Now, as a young man, we're all young. We're all young. <laughs> we're all young. <laughs> but in our generation now, um, what the, what what am I expected? What the, what what should it, should be the expectation from the event? Okay, as a young person, it's kind of a need for you to understand your culture because uh, a, a country, a nation without culture. Uh, would not exist really. So there are a, few, a fusion of young people. There's going to be top six. She plays the drum and she has done a song with the Beniza of BFRB. There's Dollars Band, Omi De Young. There's a Cobras Band and then Ebe who plays the guitar effortlessly. And a few other young people. It's mm. a time to understand our craft. And I think that's why we all should be there. Yeah, so this Hall of Fame now, is it just going to be centered around uh, the very renowned Ebenezer Obe or is that the plan one at a time? Yes, Ebenezer Obey will be our first point of call. The man has over 300 recorded songs. It's an unbelievable feat by anyone, and it deserves to be honored. It's thing is, we live in a country where people are celebrated after they've died, after they are dead or something. So the ones that are still very much alive, let's take the opportunity to celebrate them now. Anything can happen. Mm, truly, anything can happen. Now, in all of this, um, what's the future of music of yesteryears in Nigeria, how do we make it more relevant to this time? Music of yesteryears in Nigeria will forever be relevant. Mm -hmm. um, Baba Ebenezer is obey song, the likes of King Sonia Day, Yusuf Olatunji, Baba Ogunde, etc. etc. Ike Dai, Rokon Fotomoge, their music will always be relevant. The likes of Oyen Kawe, Nukrise Senigbokwe, their music will always be relevant. That is why, you know, the artists of today are advised to look out you know deeply into the contents the message in the song mm -hmm. if you want to have an evergreen music a music you want to re remember for look at fella we're still singing fella every day we're, we're still going to be singing fella for the rest of our lives for as long as there's existence but to preserve the legacy mm -hmm. of of these people though still alive and to preserve their works too like of course this is the end of the year there are certain songs that i listened to when i was very young mm -hmm. and they are still very much relevant now it almost seems like it is effortless to mm. preserve good songs yes but why is it so important to have a platform on on which to celebrate and to gather gather all these people is that what is lacking is that why we haven't celebrated these people as much as i mean it's important to celebrate their works but now how much have we celebrated these people is that what the platform like evergreen now seeks to achieve thank and you is it working yes it's working thank you very much like he rightly selectingly said we need to celebrate our legends while they're still alive not when they're gone and this is one opportunity for all of us to look ahead and say hey in another hundred or fifty or hundred years from now what is going to happen to the music industry are we doing enough to preserve are we churning out content or are we just churning out noises and if you look at the catalog of music from Evergreen. I don't know if you've ever been to their gallery or their studio, you'll be totally amazed. I mean, it's, you'll be totally amazed at the catalog of songs they have. So I'm hoping that others will take a cue from this, celebrate our legends while they're still alive, celebrate their works, their music, and you know, let us create this, um, create an avenue for the younger ones to have you know, to enjoy, to, and, and to enjoy, it's not just about Ariye Eko. Um, Ariye Eko has, you know, is a pace setter now, so to speak. Let others take a cue. All right. Yes. So let's, she's talked about the gate fee. Let's talk about the venue of the event and why we have to have that attend. Lagos City Hall, uh, Catholic Mission Street, Lagos Island, just behind uh, Eko, uh, King's College, Freedom Park, and the rest of them, 15th of December, 2 p.m., 
is when events start. And I think everyone should be there. Lagos Island is central to Lagos mm -hmm. Echo. And that's the Lagos Island itself. Yes. So area should mean fun. I think Lagos Island is center to fun. Right? Yes. Absolutely. The island yes. bands, the Afrobeat bands. Yes. At one point in time, I've all played on center Lagos Island. TBS precisely. Uh, that is, they call it Odon. Uh, celebrated the Nigeria's independence. Victor Olaya, Chris Agilo, Fatal Bidin, they all played at 1960 independence mm -hmm. ball. And it's all the profit to pick it uh, to the Lagos City Hall. Mm. And of course, we are, we are seeing that the Lagos State government it's is so part, of a part of this. Uh, this how important uh, is this uh, fusion of the private and of, of the state government? Uh, we need uh, government support at every point in time. We know policies rule us. Uh, if government don't support our craft, if government doesn't support our culture, then we should. Uh, government, Lagos State government, precisely have taken a bold step to support Area Eco. I think private investors, private investors, should just take on uh, from the uh, challenge that Lagos State have set up for them. Okay, so this is the period, uh, the Christmas period as well, and there are lots of activities now. Uh, why fix this event at this time? Thank you. A lot of um, daughters and sons of our great country, Nigeria, will be home at this point in time. Right. It is the festive period. Right. Uh, a lot of activities are going on. A lot of people fix their events for the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So you have a good crowd. Uh, you know, at this point in time. So it's, it's, I think it's just the most ideal period to fix Aria Eco. And Aria we shall have. Yes. <laughs> and you're performing as well. Definitely no, performing. No doubt. No, yes. no doubt. I see you're already in the, in the mood. You're already prepping. <laughs> I, I see you couldn't, you couldn't keep still. Uh, it, it's contagious to Ara. Always a delight having you. Thank you. Uh, on set with us. And Daniel, thank you. Thank, thank you very, very much. I wish you all a very wonderful outing Thank on you. Sunday. Thank you for having us.